My name is John Miller, and I own this boat that we're on. It's called the, the High Hopes. So it's a pretty labor-intensive fishery because in a typical day we'll run between six and 10,000 hooks. So this is the gear we use. These are the long lines. Um, the hooks are spaced about three feet apart, and each line has about 200 hooks on it. We just make one or two day trips, so the fish come right out of the ice and they go right to the wholesaler who distributes them to restaurants. They go to high-end restaurants. It actually costs more in a restaurant to eat black hot than salmon. That's because it's so tightly controlled by the government. We try to fish sustainably and practice ecological habits in our operation, and pretty much always have. The fish that are really small, we, we try and release alive because we'd like to see them reproduce at least a couple times before we catch them. The bigger fish are typically for the Japanese market or for the rest of the local restaurants. And they, they get as big as 35 or 40 pounds. They get massive. There's such a, um, a large Asian population here in the Bay Area, including San Francisco and San Jose and so forth. So we have good markets for live fish. We can sell all we can catch here. Most of the market for the, for the dead fish was Japan. So this is a really nice fish. It's probably about 20 pounds. And you can see how, see how it has this sort of camouflage color? And that's a sign that it's really, really fresh. I mean, we just caught this less than 24 hours ago. Um, and the meat's real, the flesh is really firm. So it's a really, really nice quality fish, this one. This fish here is probably worth, in a restaurant, maybe even over a hundred dollars. I've been fishing for black cod specifically for about 25 years and in all those years I never liked black cod. Anything I tried it didn't taste that good to me and I got a recipe from a friend and so I tried it that way and it was I swear one of the best fish I've ever tasted. It's just almost perfect. You start with a fillet with the skin on and then you just cut it into cubes but you cut it at a sort of an angle so you get more meat. And then for the marinade, you start off with the miso. You add the sake and the mirin, and you just drop each one in the marinade. You leave it sitting on the counter for about a half hour. And then basically, you just take it out of the marinade, and you put it in the oven for about 10 minutes, boil it to caramelize it, make it kind of crusty and brown. And it's just it's like candy. It's just the something about the marinade, the way it sort of mixes with the flavors of the fish and the oil of the fish. Uh, just it's just delicious.